Hello, welcome to FMOD in 2 minutes, the series for beginners in game audio implementation. Today we're talking about randomness and how to use FMOD to do the heavy lifting when creating variations for us. This is something that I saw Kevin Regami from Power Up Audio do and I thought it was really clever. Basically, I've got a scenario here for a, a button that a player might press in game. It's something that's made up of several layers, as you can see. Instead of exporting the variations created in my DAW into FMOD, I'm using FMOD to create them for me by exporting them as layers and putting them inside multi-instruments, which select at random a different version of said layer. Meaning every time I press play, it creates a random combination for me. Something that might take me ages inside uh, my DAW to create. On top of that, I've also added random modulation for things like start offset, volume, even added plugins like flanges and EQs, again adding another layer that would have taken me a lot longer to do inside my DAW, which is great. Now, the clever part comes in recording what we've done here through our system audio. The reason I do that is because all of these EQs, all of these plugins uh, take up a lot of processing power, so let's make things more efficient. If I record my system audio, i.e. my computer's audio, into my DAW and press play a bunch of times, the ending result means I have a bunch of variations that can be compressed essentially into one single audio file, which I can then re-import into FMOD into something like this and have all of that beautiful variation into a very efficient single audio file. So I'd record this as many times as I need and then re-import said files into here, saving a bunch on processing power because this new event doesn't use any plugins or any of that other processing power that was required in the first place. This is particularly useful if you're using something called a scatterer instrument. They're really great for creating a sense of random panning and distance attenuation from an object. And you can imagine if I had an ambience, for instance, and I wanted to use this click as a spot effect that changed randomly each time. I could copy and paste this scatter event across this loop several times, play this out and record it like I did with the first example, and again, export it and import it back into FMOD as a single event. You can imagine how long it would take to automate uh, panning and volume differences and filtering differences if I was to do this in my DAW. Instead, I'm using FMOD's fantastic features to do the heavy lifting for me. Save yourself some time, save on processing power, make your developers very happy with the audio loading times that you have. And I hope you found this useful. Again, this can be used in so many different scenarios. Just a really quick example. If you enjoyed it, please let me know in the comments below and join me for the next one.